Congressman, I, I wonder what this drama between Green, her Freedom Caucus colleagues, tells you about the priorities of the far right in Congress. Yeah, well, thank you. I mean, look, first, um, the Republican House members are in total disarray. I think this is just another great example of that. Um, obviously, the Freedom Caucus kicking out Marjorie Taylor Greene, who is usually even more extreme uh, than they are, um, uh, is just an addition to all the craziness in Congress. I mean, the truth is that Kevin McCarthy has empowered Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, as part of their party. And so that's a huge concern uh, for, for us. I think Marjorie Taylor Greene, unfortunately, um, has incredibly damaging views, radical views uh, that, need to, that need to be stopped. And so I think that this is another example of Kevin McCarthy not controlling his caucus. Uh, it's another example of Marjorie Taylor Greene um, not being able to get along with anyone in the Congress, uh, not even her own colleagues who are as extreme as she is. Um, and I think what we have to really focus on is trying to get stuff done. And on the Republican side, all they do is fight argue, multiple votes for speaker, supporting folks like George Santos, um, and unfortunately, uh, in this case, fighting against your most extreme members. Right. It would seem that if, if the interest is getting things done, then there have to be enough Republicans in the caucus who are interested in getting things done that they actually say, enough with these folks. We're going it with the Democrats. That is, of course, a very far-fetched possibility. But uh, congressional Republicans, they also seemed very excited this week to learn that cocaine was found at the White House. And I just, I wonder, given the committees you serve on and the fact that you very often have a seat to these things that they want to investigate, sort of how you imagine this all, how you suspect it's going to play out. Sure. I mean, look, first, I think let's be very honest. Um, Chairman Comer, who's made comments already about uh, about this incident, uh, wants to investigate everything, but actually making things better for the American people. He wants to investigate laptops. He wants to investigate Hunter Biden. Uh, he wants to investigate, obviously, the this cocaine incident. Um, and, and they're not really interested in actually getting anything done. It's just they're just focused on distractions and scandals. Um, it's already been made very clear by the White House that this is clearly it's being investigated. It's likely some issue. She was staff or a visitor. Um, the Biden family, of course, was uh, was nowhere um, at the White House during this time period. And so um, Republicans just want to make really nothing into a huge deal. And that's really, really unfortunate. I, I understand that we're going to have some type of hearing or some or some type of briefing on this issue, um, because, uh, quite frankly, James Comer has nothing else to talk about. He actually doesn't want to make the government better. He actually doesn't want to cut taxes for working people. He doesn't want to uh, ensure that we actually get America working and our economy in a better place. Um, he's focused on scandals. And I think that's something Something has been true uh, in the Oversight Committee time and time again. Let's talk about, as you said, policy and some of the things you were actually trying to get done, specifically efforts to loosen the rules around past marijuana use for military recruits and applicants for security clearances. The goal is to increase the number of defense personnel polling last year by Monmouth found that 54 percent of U.S. adults say they have used marijuana in their lifetimes. I mean, I'm curious about how this issue sort of ended up at your desk and why, why this strikes you as such an important priority. Look, I think first, um, I'm going to take the state of California, my, my state. Um, a marijuana cannabis is legal here in the state of California. Um, it's something that uh, voters took, you know, took on. Uh, and the idea that someone from California or one of the 21 states in the United States that have legalized cannabis in some way, that folks are unable then to get past a, a federal security clearance um, is not right. And I think that we are past that time. There are... Uh, 155 million Americans that live in these states that will have some kind of issue or could have issues with security clearance, could have issues with serving in the military, uh, could have issues in working in places like the Justice Department uh, or any of our agencies uh, because of cannabis use that is actually legal in their state. And so um, this is a le legislation that we're putting forward. It, it, it's time that we right this wrong, uh, this, this damage that we have caused to so many young people in this country. And these are talented people. We need Need talented folks. Uh, our state produces incredible folks, and these folks deserve a chance uh, to serve in the federal government and pass uh, these security clearances for these critical jobs. I will. I will be honest with you, Congressman. The part of the reason this story ended up on our desk and being talked about in our production meeting is that there's also amendments on this being offered by Congressman Gates. And it's very, it's very rare that you see sort of similar concepts and ideas moving in tandem from members of the two major political parties. And I wonder if to any degree that signals to you that there is the possibility of bipartisanship on this issue. 
I think there is a possibility of a partisanship, and um, I know that Congressman Gates' bill uh, specifically deals with uh, the military, and ours is broader along all federal, other federal agencies. And so, um, certainly, I think both are uh, there can be bipartisan support. And I think that at the end of the day, this is an issue um, that most Americans believe needs to get fixed. And I think it's um, it's shameful that we have folks that want to be part of the military, that we have folks in all in these states where marijuana and cannabis use is legal that can't get past security clearances. So we have an opportunity this upcoming week uh, to fix these wrongs. I'm hopeful that folks on both sides of the aisle uh, will vote for these amendments.